Hello, and welcome to Configuring ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition Monitoring in CA SysView. Here is an agenda for the video. First, we will cover an overview of ZOS Connect, or referred to as ZCN, Enterprise Edition Monitoring in CA SysView. The second half of this video will cover configuring ZCN monitoring in SysView. For more information on the ZOS Connect commands available within SysView and a demonstration of each one, see the video titled Using the CA SysView Component for ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition. SysView provides several commands that are specific to showing ZOS Connect information. You can see information about the active ZOS Connect servers running on your systems, ZOS Connect APIs, services, and systems of record. On these displays, you can see real-time performance statistics like response times, request counts, failures, and much more. On these displays, you can also see static configuration information about your ZOS Connect servers. Not only can you display information about your ZOS Connect servers in SysView, but you can also take actions against these ZOS Connect address spaces directly from within SysView. For example, you can start and stop APIs and services, and flush the SMF queue, and plus more actions. Finally, SysView allows you to view and format SMF Type 123 records that were written by a ZOS Connect server. The ZOS Connect monitoring is included in the CA SysView JVM and LE component. This component comes free with the base MVS component of SysView. Since a ZCN server running on ZOS is a JVM, we are able to use our JVM data collector agent technology in order to monitor the ZOS Connect server. The ZCN monitoring functionality was delivered in a future PTF in SysView version 16.0. SysView supports ZOS Connect versions 3.0 and newer. Here is a high-level checklist of items that need to be done in order to fully configure ZOS Connect monitoring in SysView. We will dive into each item on the list in further detail in the slides that follow. The first step in configuring ZOS Connect monitoring is ensuring that the correct options and features are enabled in SysView. In order to enable and disable options and features, you modify the System Configuration Options member. You can use the SysView command libs to display the dataset name where the System Configuration Options member lives. In this member, you must code component JVM to yes in order to enable CTG monitoring. You can use the features display within SysView to find out which options and components were enabled. Use the selected field to find out which components and options were enabled. You can use the systems command within SysView to display what features are enabled for each of your connected systems. Because we are using our JVM Data Collector Agent technology, the JVM Data task must be active under the main SysView address space. You can use the AS Admin display within SysView to check the status of the JVM Data task. If the task is not active, you can use the Start Line command to start the JVM Data task. Next, we need to configure the CA SysView JVM Data Collector Agent in the ZOS Connect server. In order to do this, we need to first locate the USS path where the agent was defined. The CA SysView install job INST0006 was the install job that defined the directory where the data collector agent resides. You can check our tech doc site for more information on this install job. The default paths for the agent are displayed on the screen. It's important to note that this install job allows the user to define their own runtime paths, meaning that the default paths displayed can be changed. 
Now that the path to the JVM agent is known, we can add this path into the ZOS Connect server. To do this, we can follow the instructions on the screen, which come from IBM's documentation. Basically, what needs to be done is an environment variable needs to be modified in the environment variables file used by the ZOS Connect server. In this file, the JVM options environment variable needs to be modified to add a path to our JVM agent. An example JVM options environment variable can be found at the top of the slide. In order to have full control over the CTG monitoring available in SysView, there are several options that can be passed to our JVM agent in order to define what type of CTG monitoring is available. The first is the MonZCN option. The MonZCN option accepts disable and enable as values. By default, the MonZCN option is set to disable, which means that no ZOS Connect monitoring will be available. However, general JVM monitoring will still be available. If MonZCN is set to enable, ZOS Connect monitoring will be available. However, this does not mean that ZOS Connect monitoring is fully available in SysView. Only statistic configuration information will be displayed on the ZOS Connect commands. No real-time performance statistics will be displayed. The second and final option that can be passed to the JVM agent is the MonZCN rec option. It's important to note that the MonZCN option discussed on the previous slide must be enabled in order for the MonZCN rec option to have any effect. Like the MonZCN option, the MonZCN rec option accepts the values disable and enable. By default, MonZCN rec is set to disable, which means that no interceptors will be installed into the ZOS Connect server by the JVM agent in order to monitor requests coming into the ZOS Connect server. If the MonZCN rec option is set to enable, ZOS Connect monitoring will be fully available in SysView, meaning that real-time performance statistics will be available on the ZOS Connect displays within SysView. This MonZCN rec option was created in order to allow the user to be able to control the overhead that the JVM agent creates in the ZOS Connect server. By installing interceptors in the ZOS Connect server to monitor each request coming in, slight overhead may be seen in the ZOS Connect server created by the JVM agent. Here's an example of a JVM options environment variable that contains a path to our agent and several options. The first option is the SSID option, which indicates the SysView SSID where the JVM data task is running. Next, you can see the MonZCN and MonZCN rec options coded on the JVM options environment variable. The MonZCN and MonZCN rec fields on the ZCN list display within SysView show the current SysView monitoring status of the ZOS Connect server. These same fields can be found in the information area on the other ZOS Connect displays. These values represent the current SysView monitoring status for the current target ZOS Connect server. The values that the MonCCN field can have are displayed on the screen. ZOS Connect monitoring is not available until this field is set to initialized. The values that the MonZCN rec field can have are displayed on the screen. Full ZOS Connect monitoring including real-time performance statistics is not available until this field is set to initialized. Remember that the MonZCN field must be initialized in order for the MonZCN rec option to have effect. The ZOS Connect commands available within SysView are displayed on the screen. For more information about each command and a demonstration on each, see the video titled Using the CA SysView Component for ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition. Current existing security command groups should be reviewed to see if any new security command groups should be created or if any existing command groups should be modified to allow or restrict access to the ZOS Connect commands. The ZCNR log command within SysView displays a log of SMF type 123 records that were written by ZOS Connect servers. Like other log commands within SysView, the source of these records must be a log stream. 
The help topic ZOS Connect SMF records on the CA SysView topics command can be viewed to see more information about how to log and view these SMF 123 records. After the ZOS Connect server is configured to write SMF records, a log stream is needed to hold the SMF records that are written. The ZOS Connect SMF records help topic that was discussed on the previous slide describes multiple options that you have for log stream types that can be used to hold the SMF records. The recommended approach that we make is using CA SysView's dynamic SMF log stream browsing component. This was delivered in a PTF in SysView release 16.0. The CA SysView event capture option must be licensed in order to use this DSLB component. DSLB is the recommended approach because it allows for easy management of what SMF record types get logged to each log stream. The ZCNR log command will only display SMF type 123 records. If there are any other record types in this log stream where the SMF123 records are, possible extra processing time can be needed by the ZCNR log command because it needs to first filter out only the 123 records. The first step in using DSLB is either to define a new log stream or possibly use an existing one. There exists an article on our TechDoc site titled Create and Modify Dynamic SMF Log Streams and Browsing Definitions that contains sample JCL for defining log streams. The DSMF logs display shows the dynamic SMF log streams that have been defined to SysView. We can use the add subcommand to add an existing log stream in a description to DSLB. Once the log stream is defined and added, it will be displayed on the DSMF logs display. By default, once a log stream is added to DSLB, there will be no record types logged to this log stream. The log subcommand can be used to add different record type and subtypes to the log stream. You can use the types field on this display to see what record types are being logged to each log stream. By default, once the log stream is defined to DSLB, it is put into an inactive state. It must be enabled in order for DSLB to actively log the different record types to the log stream. We can see the status field for whether the log stream is active or inactive. The SMF data Parmlib member indicates if DSLB should be using cold or warm starts. If warm starts are indicated, the previous slides that describe using the add and log subcommands on the DSMF logs display can be used and your definitions will persist throughout your warm starts. If cold starts are indicated, you must update the SVW v DSLB Parmline member in order to persist your DSLB definitions. An example definition is seen on the screen. Like other log type commands within CA SysView, ZCNR log will read from CA SysView's LG lookup Parmline member in order to determine by default what log stream to read from. ZCNR log also accepts a stream parameter that can override what LG lookup has coded. An example LG lookup definition is seen on the slide. Once the configuration items on the list are completed, the ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition component will be fully enabled. You can begin to take advantage of the performance statistics and configuration information displayed on the ZOS Connect commands.